Hey everyone, I just prepared a really quick example to show you how you can turn any piece of string that, you know, is actual numbers into a double or int. Now, obviously, if your string has letters, it's not going to be able to be turned into a double or int, but I'm pretty sure you already know that, so let's just skip ahead of that. So basically, what we're going to do is this container right here has its height and width defined by this variable over here, size number, which by default is 200. and as we type in a number here in the text field, as you can see, we will be using the unchanged property and that will just make, for example, as soon as we type one, we're going to make the new, the size number turn into one. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do to show you how you can very easily turn a string into a double or an int. So basically let's just grab the size number and make it equal to val. However, like this, of course we get an error because it tells us that a value of type string can be assigned to a variable of type double. So let's just control X this val right here. You have two options. First, I'm going to show you the most simple one, which is saying double dot parse. And then here you put in the val. However, the safest option is actually double dot try parse, because this will be better in case your string isn't actually convertible, because this will actually try to catch the error. And with parse, you'll just crash altogether. So this is always the safest option. And I would just advise you to just always go for try parse. If you have a different opinion to this, feel free to share it in the comments below. But anyway, here you just do the val, which is actually the string. Okay, this is the string value. And this is it. But first, let me just do the set state. Otherwise, it won't update the container size. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And as soon as I type in a one, it will change size. Now we can't see it, of course, but let me just make it 100. And, you know, as you can see, it pretty much changes as we type it along. Like 200 is what it was before. We can do 250. As you can see, it's always dynamic. And that's pretty much it. If you want to do it with an int, you just got to do this. And I'm not sure if it'll work like this because, yeah, we're trying to turn it into a double. However, I can use this opportunity to show you how to turn an int into a double, which is also super simple. Let's create a new variable just call it temp and actually put this over here. And now this is an int, as you can see, it's type int. And then we can just grab this over here. And on the bottom here, we just do size number equals temp dot to double. And if you were the other way around, you wanted to make a double into an int, it would just be the variable name dot to int. So as you can see, you can pretty much turn a string into an int and then you can turn the int into a double you can pretty much do what you need to when it comes to this type of stuff but now let's go ahead and switch up this exercise let's just leave this with 200 right here and instead of all of this crap we're just going to go ahead and create a new variable which will be a string and let's just call it new text and here i will put this string right here and this will be where the variable will be new text and there we go. Let me just delete this real quick. Hit the save button just so it's clear that everything works. And now let me just bring this back. And what I'm going to do is turn this into a double. So now this is a double, as you can see right here. And now we're going to go ahead and turn this temp into a string. So first of all, let's use the new variable, new text, and say equals to temp dot to string as fixed okay and here the value that it expects is an int as you can see right here so seeing as we want it to be a double in a string format i'm just going to go ahead and give it just a one int you could give it two three you can give it whatever you want but one would suffice and so i'm going to hit the save button and now we're pretty much going to do two and it's going to be 2.0 because it's a double so you see how this works if you want an int, yeah, you could pretty much just do zero. And then if I do this, it kind of crashes. But now with one, as you can see, it's, it's gone. As you can see, the error happened because two string as fixed was called on null when I actually deleted it. So it's not too important for this example. But yeah, if you wanted to give it five decimal numbers, that will be fine as well. It's really just up to you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys what you could accomplish here with these uh, very simple ways of doing type conversions. 
Dart is actually very helpful with that. So anytime you want to turn your double into a string or your string into a double or an int, now you know how to. I hope this video was able to help you. If it was, you already know, hit that like. And if you are a beginner, feel free to subscribe so that you can keep on learning more and more about Flutter. This is Flutter Mentor and out. Thank <music> you.